When you live with a long-term condition, chances are this environment looks familiar to you. Come on in, have a seat. Thank you. Are you all right on the couch? And chances are this next question will also seem familiar. So how have things been in the last six months? It's hard to get a clear picture of how somebody has been since their last visit just by asking questions. It's really hard to say because it's just been all over the place. Some days I've really struggled and some days I've, uh, I've had better days. It's been really difficult but I can't quite remember the specific days, the times when it's been particularly bad. I honestly think this 20 minutes is not enough for me to tell you, explain you everything, what I've been going through for the six months. The remote monitoring of rheumatoid arthritis study is a research program that allows patients to track their daily symptoms using a smartphone app, with their data then integrated into their health records. By providing a clearer visual picture of how patients have been since their last visit, clinicians and patients can together make better shared decisions about how to manage their condition. The Remora system works like this. The patient downloads the app from the App Store onto their smartphone or tablet, signs in with their NHS login, then tracks their symptoms via a series of questions. We can then access this data in the form of interactive graphs that show the day-to-day -day changes in disease symptoms. So why don't we have a look at the data that you've been tracking in the Remora 2 app? We are now on the way with a clinical trial to test whether remote symptom tracking integrated into healthcare services improves patient outcomes. The app's really useful for us as clinicians to be able to see how patients are doing between their appointments because there's lots of elements that, that make up their disease so we can look at that in detail. Remora has grown from a proof of concept study at a single site to a formal trial funded by the National Institute of Health Research and Versus Arthritis in multiple rheumatology departments in two regions of the UK. If the trial is successful, we hope that remote symptom tracking integrated into the NHS will become part of usual care in the future and improve the lives of people living with arthritis.